Hello, my name is Sue Lewis and I'm going to be running you through this training session for tutors about the Career Pilot Pathway Planner. So this session usually takes about 20 minutes and you'll understand what you have to do and we'll give you a chance to have a little play. So what we're doing is talking about something called the Career Pilot Pathway Planner that will help students think about their pathways for the future. And this will help the school to meet some of the Gatsby benchmarks you might have heard about, in particular Gatsby 3 and Gatsby 8. So what we've developed is a model for delivering personal careers guidance to young people, particularly in year 11 and year 12. And your school are using this model and you have a key role within that model, which isn't too address, I'll say right at the beginning. So the model is that all year 11 and year 12 students will get a one hour structured session using Career Pilot to explore their options and understand about their different options that are available at the end of that key stage. Right at the end of that one hour session, they'll also do the Pathway Planner tool. So this tool will ask them about which pathways they're interested in and give them a red, amber, green score based on some quizzes that we ask them about how ready they are for their pathway. Based on that, the guidance advisor has actually targeted guidance according to the level of needs of the students. So all students have had a one-to-one -one careers guidance session, maybe of 20 minutes or 30 minutes or 60 minutes, depending on what came out of the pathway planner. Now it's your role. About three or four weeks after guidance, what we're asking you to do is a five minute follow-up with each of your two T's, just to make sure they're still on track with their career. So this is your bit. And then if you're at all concerned about them, you can feed them back into guidance so they can get another short session just to make sure that they stay on track with what they're planning to do. There will be other ways the students can get guidance too. There'll be a drop-in session, at least one lunchtime a week. And they can also request guidance, e-guidance, or request another session through Career Pilot. So I'm just going to show you how that all works. So what the students have had already, they've had this one hour career pilot session, which is about their option choices. It's been quite structured, shown them the options, and then they've had time to explore the things they're interested in on career pilot. Part of that has been to show them a video about how they can manage their own careers with four key things they could be doing. And if you wanted to look at that, that's the link to the video. Then they've done the pathway planner. So if they're year 11, they've been shown the pathways are 16. And if they're year 12, the pathways are 18. So they identify which of the pathways they're now interested in. They can say definite, considering or not doing. And then they do a guidance quiz about each of the pathways they're interested in. So the questions, this is the A-level pathway. Um, have you got an idea what subjects you want to do? Uh, I know the grades I'm going to need for A-levels. And some of these questions are kind of red flagged at the back end. The students don't see this, but we know that some of these questions will need a bit of inter intervention from a careers advisor. What the students get is a red, amber, green score. If they're green, probably means they've got pretty good plan in place, and we're just going to check that plan for them in a very short session. If they're amber, that means that they have got quite a lot of information in place, but maybe there's a few gaps in their knowledge. And if they're red, it probably means there's quite a few things that they need to know in order to make an informed decision about that pathway. So the red, amber, green score is what determines the level of guidance that the students will have got. Everybody's going to get careers guidance, but it'll be at different levels according to needs. So in Career Pilot, the guidance advisor was able to look at the results from the pathway planner, and then based on that information, they could see what pathways they were interested in, but also how ready they were for the pathways. And then they allocated guidance according to needs. So some schools use a system of 20 minutes for green, 30 minutes for amber, 60 minutes for red, but it can vary a bit across different schools. What the careers advisor also did was actually write a short report in Career Pilot about that student. So this is the results, if you like, of the guidance conversation. And they might have put some action points in too. And the students would have seen all these and it would have been part of that guidance session. So that's what we've done. And this is your part that we'd love you to take on. So we are not asking you to become a careers advisor. We're just asking you to spend five minutes with the students, just checking they're still on track. And really, we want you to ask them three questions. 
are you clear about which pathway? You know, they're still clear. We've all already done some interventions about that, but they're still on track for the pathway they said they wanted to do. How are they getting on with their actions? You know, we want to know that they are working towards the things they've said. It doesn't matter if they've just missed out on one or they got or they begin to work on it now. That's not a major issue. But if you're concerned that they're not really moving forward with their career plan, you might want to pick up on that. And then the last one is, do you feel you have the information you need to move on to your chosen pathway? And obviously, we're hoping they're going to say yes to all these things. But obviously, some things change for different students. So if you are concerned about the student's plan and they're not progressing or something, something significant has changed for them, you could refer them for more guidance. I'm going to show you how you do that in a minute. So what are you going to get from it? Well, you'll know a lot more about your TTs in a very easy way. You'll know what they want to do in the future, what pathway they're interested in, and you'll know what they should be doing to get there. So this gives you plenty of conversation material when you're talking to your students. And hopefully you'll see this all very easy to access too. And we have got very positive feedback from tutors who've been involved in offering this sort of support. So the way it works is like this. To do this training session, hopefully you've already been given a password for Career Pilot for the school or college in which you work. When you put your login in, this is what you'll see. You'll be able to see the students who've got access to. You'll be able to look at reports by group of the things they're interested in, like job sectors or reports by individual. But the bit we want you to look at is the Pathway Planner. So under results of bookings, you should be able to see the groups you've got access to. So it might just be one tutor group, for example, like here. So what you're going to do is go to group reports and actions and then pathway planner results and actions. If you click on that, you'll see all your two T's and you'll be able to see what pathways they're interested in and how ready they are for those pathways. And there's various things you can now do with that information. These particular things in the action sections are the particular things that you will be doing. You can look at any follow up progression report from the advisor, uh, which is a summary of the things they might want to want to do. This is where you can log when you've done your follow up. And also you can look at the advisor comments and actions. I'm just going to show you some of those things now. So if you click on advisor comments, then you will see any report or actions that the careers advisor has recorded for that student. So in terms of your five minute check, you'll be able to ask the students, have they done the things they were intending to do? There might be, there's more information you can read there too, but in particular, are they on track with their actions? When you want to get back to the Pathway Planner, right at the top of the report, you'll see these sections under black under the pathway planner if you click on results you'll get back in to see the results of the student so one other thing you're going to do here is to maybe look at what the tutor said the student is planning to do after the guidance session so they might have had the guidance and now they're definitely thinking about college and they're thinking of doing this particular course so that might be interesting for you to know as well but you can also tag when you've done your follow-up. So under two to follow-up, you can say, I've done it. And then you can also indicate whether you think this student needs additional guidance. And that would be visible to the careers advisor. So that's all you have to do in terms of logging your follow-up. So just to remind you, there's three questions to ask. Are you clear about the pathway you're doing? How are you getting on with your actions? Do you feel you have the information you need to move on? And then if you're at all concerned, you can refer them back into guidance just by ticking on that um, box that says they need more guidance and then they'll be seen by the careers advisor. So hopefully you've got a log on so you can have a little play on career pilot. So if you go in and um, explore the site, maybe look at your two T's reports and see what you will be able to do. If you have any questions about this, you can go back to your careers leader or your careers advisor. Just one thing, if the students have changed their plans or if they now have a bit more information and you could just tell them they're not really read anymore, they actually know quite a lot now about apprenticeships, they can actually edit their answers 
on here. And then that will mean that the timeline of where they are on a particular date will change as they go from maybe a, an a red to an amber or an amber to a green. So you didn't have to do that with them. You could just tell them to log on to Career Palette and edit the Pathway Planner. So hopefully it's clear that all you need to do is be able to log on to Career Pilot, look at the actions, look at the pathways, ask them the three questions, make sure you log that you've done that. And that's the only bit we want you to do this process. So hopefully it's going to be useful to you and you'll find out a lot more about the young people you work with and you can support them on their journey to whatever career progression they're thinking of. So thank you so much for coming along.